The 21st century scene could have come right out of early Anabaptist history. Leaders of a small Mennonite congregation were arrested and thrown in jail, and others were barred from holding Christian meetings in their homes. Authorities thought they'd put a quick end to this troublesome spiritual movement. But they were wrong. Anabaptists around the world sprang into action. Letters poured in. Authorities were surprised to see that this little congregation was part of something much greater. A worldwide church that rose up to speak in one voice. What else was going on beyond the flow of messages and stamps? It was a global sharing, a mutual transaction of the soul where a beleaguered church also gave and the rest of us received. What was our need? Encouragement and challenge. What was their gift? A vivid example of faithfulness in persecution. In the Mennonite World Conference, whose reach now embraces one and a half million people in 75 countries, none of us is alone or isolated. We are connected by our common faith in Jesus Christ and membership in a global communion. What, after all, are gifts? How should they be used? Who's rich and who's needy? Is sharing different from giving? What barriers inhibit the spread of God's abundant life for all? MWC encourages churches and individuals around the world to share their gifts, to support each other in hardship, to share spiritual energy, music, and much more. As a world communion, we've reached out to hotspots snatched from the day's headlines. Deacons were sent to Zimbabwe to walk with the church during a period of election violence and a global day of intercession was organized. The global church was called upon to give moral support, solidarity and spiritual cover to churches in Colombia as they sought to build bridges among warring guerrilla and military factions to heal their conflicted country. MWC facilitates the exchange of gifts among us. The Deacons Fund, Jubilee Fund and Global Gift Sharing are mechanisms to pool our spiritual, communal and economic resources to strengthen our daily walk. Under MWC leadership, the World Family of Anabaptists have agreed to a joint statement of central beliefs, many of which we share with the wider Christian family. This resulted in a book, What We Believe Together, which shows how our convictions propel us to serve with one voice. We also exchange our own stories. We come from different places, countries, and cultures. We wear different clothes, eat different foods, and speak with different accents. Giving and receiving our various narratives brings us closer and deepens our love for one another and for the larger family of Jesus. We also share in worship. Every six years we get together in a grand assembly the last one was in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe in 2003. The next one will be in Paraguay in the summer of 2009 when some 6,000 of us will come together in the way of Jesus Christ. The more we share in each other's stories, the more clearly we see Jesus. In a world racked by poverty, turbulence and disease, we need each other as much as ever before. We have a lot of work to do together. And it begins with a gift exchange, a generous sharing of our presence, our talents, our insights, and our resources. What gifts will you share with your global family of faith?